Welcome back to our ultrasound training seminar. Uh, today uh, we're going to demonstrate the transcranial Doppler uh, monitoring. We're going to place a hat frame on our patient. My name is Joel Garami. Uh, I'm the medical director for the vascular ultrasound lab here in the Houston Methodist Hospital. So we have the ultrasound head frame uh, prepared with two monitoring probe. I'm going to place the head frame on the head about inch above the ears. I'm tying the head frame first. After tying the head frame, I'm going to tie it on the top as well. After that, I'm going to place ultrasound gel on the probes and I'm going to fix one at a time. After placing an ultrasound gel on a probe and unlocking this probe signal, I'm going to fold it just on the front of the ear, placing it angle anteriorly and up, and looking for the signal. And right away, I'm looking at the middle cerebral artery on the a distal portion and this is probably a perfect signal for me so I'm going to pull my lock and I locked it in position. I'm trying to monitor my signal around the 50 that's the best depth for my middle cerebral artery. At the depth of 60 there's too many vessels and I can misidentify the MC by PCOM, PC and so many other vessels. So now I'm going to place this probe and again angling a little bit anteriorly and up. So when I see the signal above 50, I'm angling too high. I'm going to point down a little bit, pointing down, pointing down, and I'm happy I am locking the signal. So right now I can increase my gain if it's not perfect here I can increase my sound and uh, right now I'm ready uh, for a monitoring and when I do the monitoring I'm going to turn on my emboli detection and I'm try my recording if I'm not happy with the signal and especially on this left side I'm not that happy I can still adjust it to make it even perfect, so I really need to see that positivity in the middle cerebral artery. And these are my two middle cerebral artery signal, uh, the bottom M mode and then the middle screen going to show you the trend of the mean flow velocity and the PI values.